Hey all, it's Nim or Nimicry if you're feeling professional and welcome to the YouTube video. Now, we just got something data mined literally an hour and 32 minutes ago. Uh, so let's see what happens here. This is gonna be great. Uh, this is the end of the Rathian quest line. Apparently there's a cinematic. So let's take a look at the cinematic. I've not seen this. I happen to really like Rathian and I'm, I'm excited. So let's see what happens here. Let's take a look. Pause that real quick. We're gonna go just a little higher. Hmm. All right, and let's see. Let's see what happens. Run up from this foolishness. Odin, I love Odin. Go away, whatever that is. Odin, I love Odin. Can I just play? I agree. Oh, okay, so an incarnate is confirmed to be able to stand against Odin. Like again against one of the one of the the it's not a Titan, but one of the Titan keepers. And Incarnate has the ability to stand against that. That's actually really cool, like power scaling wise, because if we remember back in the beginning of Dragonflight, like Alex Straza was having trouble with uh what was her name? Not Aridicron, not Varanoth, uh Razagath was having trouble with Razgath, and Razgath was like, ah ha ha, I'm going to kill you and tear your titan-built world down. And so for... And she was empowered by the titans. Now, it makes sense that maybe they might be a little weak because of, you know, they, they were given power and power can be taken away, but the incarnates are not burdened or blessed by the titans in any way. They represent a more primal, uh, more chaotic Azeroth, and their power... So it's interesting to see that... that it's confirmed in this cinematic here that she, you know, Rathian got knocked back. Other person was knocked back. She's like, I am a queen. Uh, no, sir. No. Dragons of... She just froze Odin. Just like, like, Odin. Like... The, the the leader of the class hall in his throne room was just like, and, and it wasn't like effort. It was like, oh, okay. So today we're going to do this. Boom. You know, and and then we're, we're done. I know she's saying something. We'll, we'll get there in a second. But I just, I want to draw that out there because, again, Odin is like the patron god of all warriors. Remember the Legion class hall? We go to his class. He, he get, grants us quests. He gives things. He is the head of, like, the leader of all the Valajar, you know, and, and, of course, you know, you must face one final test before claiming the Aegis. Me. And, and it's, it's amazing. So I, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to put that there. Uh, the fact that she was able to just be like, uh, no, not gonna fight you. Stop. Sit down. Frost trap. The storm. You are true dragons. Not constructs beholden to an unworthy keeper. You now, look, that's amazing. Calling the dragons to her side. I mean, she's, uh, again, I, I'm curious to see if, if Vyronoth is, is a betrayer because she does essentially at between patch, you know, 10.1 and 10.2, she does kind of join us and work with us. We're actually do quests for her in the Emerald Dream right now. You are free to choose your own path. If you wish it, there is a home for you on the Dragon Isles. Join your king and claim your birthright. I love that. I, I, I love that because it's it's not like we're going to conquer. We're just like, no, 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 no. You dragons are being held here by Odin and the Valajar. I see that. Stop that. No more of that referenced by Odin, the Odin sickle, sitting in a chair. And then is like, if you want to come, hey, we're here. If not, that's fine. And just flying away. I, I like how Viranoth is not just a mindless engine of destruction like Razagath and Frack. Especially Frack. Oh boy. Frack's weapon is named Dream Render. Like they say in, in the cutscene. I, I mean, I don't really know how much more I am a mindless engine of destruction coded you could be. But Viranoth, again, you know, cold, calculating, dispassionate, but ultimately, this is going to happen. So I, I, I like, I hope she doesn't become a villain, because I really like that character. 
But if she was a villain, I, I would hope that it would be a good fight and a, a well put together plot. And the storm drakes leave. All right, so there it is. And the storm drakes left. Or at least some of them with uh we, we didn't see all the storm drakes leave. We don't have confirmation of that. I'm sure some of I'm sure some of them, you know, don't mind for whatever reason. Um so yeah, honestly, excellent cinematic. I can't wait to see what happens at the end of that quest line to actually get there. But let's be honest with ourselves. Uh the story focus that's happening now with increased importance is amazing. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching this far. And if you like the video, please uh, comment, subscribe, do all those things that YouTube says you should do. It's excellent. And, uh, you know, I look forward to making more positive Warcraft videos in the future. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to see. And uh, I'll try to get on that. Um, outside of that, may the mount your farming drop on the first kill. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.